Hey guys, it's Monday and I am very tired. Uh, now, I'm officially working two jobs and it's tiring. On Thursday, I actually worked, uh, I think it was like 14 hours that day, which uh, maybe in the future you guys have like longer work hours or whatever, but for me in the present, that's not, that's not normal. Uh, I think I was already telling you guys, uh, KRCR is really cool and I'm enjoying working there so far, and it's an awesome environment to work in. I'm actually recording this on Sunday, so tomorrow, but for you right now, uh, or in the past, I don't know. Um, Monday, I will be... Uh, for, I will be filming for KRCR one of the scripts that I wrote for one of their tests already, and it's terrifying. It's gonna be the first thing I'm actually filmed. I already made a, uh, a, a, a spot for them that's on the air, apparently. Uh, it's like, it's to advertise their Facebook page, and I made it, and then he was just like, okay, let's put it on the air, and then we did this thing with the computer, and we went to the back with these other people that used a computer, and the computer put it out into the TV via black magic or something, and now apparently, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently the thing, this 10 second thing that I made is on the, on TV for like a lot of Northern California. That's terrifying. But uh, that's my job now and that's gonna happen a lot. Also, I made some posters that are gonna be distributed like everywhere in Redding and Chico to advertise this uh, fundraiser thing. Uh, and that's also kind of terrifying that this thing that I made is gonna go in like windows all over all these local businesses. Uh, but I gotta get over it because this is probably gonna happen a lot. This is the thing I want to talk to you guys about that I think is kind of frustrating and annoying. A lot of people when they meet me, I think think that I don't like them and that I'm stuck up. I just said think think. But I think it made sense when I said it. Let's go with it. I don't think I've ever really considered myself excellent in knowing social protocols and whatnot. I, it's a weird pattern that I've noticed. Uh, I mean, two of my best friends, uh, Logan and Brian, I remember talking to them about how uh, my freshman year, uh, before they actually got to know me, they thought I was just some jerk and I didn't even say anything. Like I, I, I am the mo one of the most shy people that I know. I don't really like talking to other people. Unless I have to, and then I was really like that in my freshman year, and a lot more like that in middle school. In middle school, I was really, really just nerdy and socially awkward, and now I think I'm slightly less nerdy. Slightly less socially awkward. Okay, at least slightly less socially awkward. I generally hide the, the nerdy parts, I guess. But the point is, I was just, when I got to high school, I was just, I didn't know anyone. I was uh, one of the, the only people that I knew that went to Foothill. Everyone else went to these other two high schools. So I was like all alone and terrified and afraid. And I just didn't talk because that was my plan on not screwing up high school. But it's just not, if I just didn't talk, that would be, everything would be fine. But regardless of the fact that I didn't even talk, uh, they presumed that I was a jerk. And then I got to know them, and I guess they realized that I was just an idiot. And now we're all friends, so it's cool. But I, I've heard that before uh, with, with other people as well. I know when I first started working at the movie theater, there's a couple of people who thought that I was, like, I heard one of the managers said that I was stuck up or something. And again, I just didn't talk. I Like, I didn't... I don't remember saying anything. I was just trying to not mess up because of my first job. And then I was having a conversation with my girlfriend about it recently. Uh, and it's just weird and it's frustrating that I feel like it would be cool if there was like some kind of instructional guide on how to interact with people and how to make people like you. Because that is one of the more difficult things to get your, like, just wrap your head around. I feel like constantly when interacting with uh, people that I'm not quite comfortable with yet, like, I mean, with my friends, I feel like I act like just myself, but with people that I'm not really comfortable with yet, I'm constantly 
thinking about like, okay, I have to smile now. Okay, you got to laugh now. Okay, make sure that you're you seem like you're enjoying this other person. Uh, don't seem like an asshole. Because I don't think I'm an asshole. I don't consider myself an asshole. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think I'm stuck up either. Gen. I generally hate everything that I do, and I think that most of the stuff I do is dumb, regardless of what my girlfriend says. But for some reason, my I guess my instinct of whatever I do is relayed to other people as don't not liking them at all and wanting them to die. That's the vibe that I've gotten from other people when they talk about meeting me for the first time. It's either that or I was really, really weird. Like, there was one person who I, I, I didn't even remember this, but apparently he said the first time that he met me, I touched him on the nose with my nose. Like, I just walked up, I was like, hello, and I just touched him on the nose, and then I walked away, and I didn't... I didn't really realize that I was going to get to know that person better later on. But, like, those are the two options. Either my first impression is just weird, and, okay, that, that, that guy is definitely not safe to be around other people, or it's, oh, my God, this guy hates me. And my, my theory, I think, for that second one is, like, I'm super shy, and it's either, either I act really shy and I just try to avoid talking to other people, or I try to get over how shy I'm being, and I just go all out, and I'm just like really, uh, really bizarre. But I don't want to seem like a weirdo to everyone that I meet, so uh, a lot of the time my tendency is just go quiet, and I'm generally like more like a listener, I guess. I, I like uh, meeting people and trying to gauge what kind of person they are before I talk, unless they don't want to talk, and then I start talking too much, because uh, I feel uncomfortable. But uh, my general, like, the, the mental decision is, like, that I need to watch them, and then figure out them, and once I figure them out, then I'm okay to, like, oh, I'm gonna let you know everything about me. It's a slight exaggeration. Anyway, I guess that... Being quiet makes me seem like a, an asshole. Maybe I have one of those, like, uh, it's called a resting bitch face. Maybe my listening face is like a, like a, I don't like you. Maybe that's what they're getting when I'm just kind of, when I'm like sitting there going, oh my god, oh my god, just listen to what they're saying. I'm, I'm, I'm terrified right now. Uh, uh, oh, they laughed. I should laugh. Ha ha ha. Oh, no. When I'm thinking that in my head, I think that they're looking at me probably and going like, he hates me, he's not talking to me, but I'm just terrified and I don't know how to get over this because I don't, I don't, I don't want to be like fake to people that I meet, but that's the only way that I could see myself potentially not looking like a, like an asshole or, or whatever, like, because I, I don't, my, my natural instinct is not to be totally me around other people because that's terrifying and oh, ah, ah. I, I don't know I should go uh, cuz I have water boiling so I can make food uh, it has been unmonitored on the stove for quite some time now and I think that's against some kind of cooking rules so I should go I thought I just vent to you guys once again cuz you can't stop me cuz you're not born yet Anyway, uh, grandchildren, if you see me anytime in the near future, we should have a laughing competition to see who can make the weirdest laugh. I'll go first. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, you come over, and you try to make a, a weirder, scarier laugh than that. They try to out, like, just outdo me, and then I'll, I'll try to outdo you. See you guys.